Hi, now for those of you who have seen the other videos, you'd know that this side is about uh, making playing easier, making the machine work more effectively, um, and overcoming problem areas, whether it be with um, range or endurance, or flexibility, any of the, the fundamentals of playing. Uh, hopefully by now you've got yourself a wind pack, which has got the visualizer, which is important to what we're about to talk about, and uh, the, the breathing tool, so you know that your breathing machine is working well. Um, to put that onto the instrument, I've done a lot of videos using the visualizer, and I want to take the next step now and just go, I want you to visualize that as the air travels, here's your top lip, bottom lip, that as air is traveling through, the air hits the top lip and bounces off, hits the bottom lip, bounces off, goes into the mouthpiece cup. So there's sort of sympathetic vibration of the lips thanks to the, the movement of the air and the differential of the air pressure from the body through the lips and into the mouthpiece cup. Now I've got a little piece of paper here and on an elastic band. Now if I was to just blow air past it, you can see the vibration that's happening. So we've spoken a lot about the AU ah, exercise, AU, ah, AU. Ah, keeping that lip unpinched. Even in the upper register, we need to work on the aperture corners coming in. So you imagine, if you wanted to keep this piece of paper vibrating or the air swirling as you go higher, the last thing you want to do is put grip into the lip and start pinching down onto the bottom lip. Even when you're in the extreme upper register, it'll feel like a little tingle just in a little spot of your bottom lip and you'll feel that escape of the air without incredible back pressure. You can you, There's compression, which I'll talk about in the next video, but there's only a limit to how much compression you can use, and it's getting it through the lips without forcing. So keep that in mind. <sighs> Swirling air that's going to go through an aperture that's getting narrower and narrower. Okay, Think about that. 